So we're here on the Juno Ice Field studying the Taku Glacier. This is the 66th year that JIRP has been measuring the surface mass balance of the Taku. It's the longest mass balance record in North America. Mass balance is essentially like the accounting of the budget of the glacier. Um, we're trying to measure gain versus loss as far as accumulation versus ablation. Over the course of the summer, we ski around to pits at different altitudes and we dig down and try to find the last year's ablation horizon. This year was a particularly large year as far as accumulation. On the Lemon Creek we had some pits that were as deep as 7 meters. Out here on the Taku, the pit that's right out in front of us on Taku 4 was just shy of 5 meters. I'm pretty confident at this point that we've identified the annual layer, uh, the 2011 ablation horizon, and there's a handful of ways of doing that visually. Um, one way to do it, which we've pretty much seen here, is a uh, definitive color change in the snowpack. So it goes from this nice snow white, goes down, it turns into a kind of a gray blue. Another way to, to tell is also the, uh, the change in the crystal size. Uh, it goes from this nice small fresh snow crystal and it almost kind of doubles in size. Also, there's the presence of a huge ice lens right oh, above the color change. Don't see that. That's, a, yep. that's another big So once we, once we find evidence of the previous year's ablation horizon, um, then basically we, we measure down every 10 centimeters along the vertical profile of the snowpack, and we take a 500cc snow core, and we take a snow sample, and we weigh that. So knowing the, the volume and the mass, you can then figure out the density. So knowing the density of the snow, you can then calculate what the water mass equivalent is. So <clears throat> once you know, once you can break it down into how much water is there, then you can quantify how much water has been accumulated onto the surface of the glacier. 298. What was the depth of that one? What's the depth of the last one? 440. 440. 290. Thank you. That's a good one. Two ninety nine. This measurement is important because knowing how much how much water is accumulated versus how much is lost gives you a general idea of the health of the glacier. And also from year to year, it's a good indicator of what is going on with the local climate. 